Hello YouTube fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home, and DIY projects every single week. First, I wanna say happy Earth Day. I hope that you guys are all having a wonderful day. If you can't already tell by my background, I love mother nature and the earth and just all things green. I wanted to celebrate today by sharing a couple of projects that are eco-friendly and just sustainable. As a DIY, I'm constantly creating new items, but of course I wanna be mindful of the earth and just being more sustainable with my projects. These projects are super fun using items that you probably already have at home, and I'm really excited to share them with you guys. I've also teamed up with True Earth, who is the sponsor of today's video, and they are a sustainable brand that I think you guys are all gonna really love. So I'm excited to talk a little bit more about them later. But I also wanna say thank you guys so much for the love on my last makeover video. It was so much fun doing that video and just seeing all of your responses. And if you wanna see more home content on my channel, make sure that you like and subscribe down below because I post videos every single week. So without blabbing on any further, let's go ahead and jump into the first project. Hello from VoiceOver Tina. For our first eco-friendly project, we're gonna create salt dough, and for this recipe, I'm using half a cup of flour, and I'm adding in a quarter cup of salt and just mixing that all together in a mixing bowl. Now I'm gradually adding in a little bit of water at a time, and I'm using a wooden spoon to help mix it all together. This is a slow process, so you don't wanna add too much water, and the goal is to make it a Play-Doh consistency, hence the name salt dough. Although I would have to say this does smell better than Play-Doh, it smells like I'm about to bake a loaf of bread. So if you guys went through a bread baking phase last year, I'm sure you'll love this project. This is a great eco-friendly DIY because we're using food ingredients found in your kitchen. And salt dough is compostable and biodegradable, and this is a great alternative to store-bought doughs. So now that it's at a nice doughy consistency, I'm going to go ahead and just ball it together with my hands. Then putting it onto a cutting board, I'm placing three popsicle sticks on each side to roll it out evenly. And now we can go ahead and create our design. So I'm gonna do an eye design. So with a lid, I'm just gonna use that as a guide to create a football shape. And with my X-Acto knife, I'm gonna cut it all out. For this next part, you can use a pointy tool. I'm just using a lead pencil and I'm gonna sketch out my design. So you'll see that I'm creating a football shape and then adding in some details by drawing in an iris and a pupil in the center. And I actually found that using something like a popsicle stick works really well to leave a smoother imprint. And it was also perfect to stamp in little lines for the eyelashes as well. And as a finishing touch, I'm adding in two holes at the top and the bottom to hang later. I would also highly suggest that you place this on a parchment or wax paper, and this is just going to make it so much easier to transfer onto your baking sheet. So I'm just going to let this sit in the oven at 250 degrees for about 3 hours. And while that's baking, I'm going to go ahead and create a little tassel out of some macrame cord. So I'm wrapping around a scrap piece of cardboard several times, and macrame is also an eco-friendly DIY material. Most are 100% cotton, so it's natural, eco-friendly, and completely biodegradable. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that on one end, and then I'm going to tie it together with another piece of macrame to create the head of the tassel. And with another piece of macrame, I'm going to tie it all together to complete the top half of our tassel. And lastly, I'm brushing out our fringe with a little pet brush, and you guys, I finally found pet brushes at Dollar Tree. I'm so glad that I have one now because it seriously works so much better than the comb that I was using previously. Alright, so I'm going to set that aside, and after our little eyeball is all baked, it's going to be hard as a rock, and it's ready for paint. I'm using a tan peachy color as my base, and I'm going to give that two even coats of acrylic paint. I also want to add that if you don't want to bake your salt dough, you can also just let it sit out and air dry. It's essentially going to dry out like an air dry clay, so you want to sit it out for several days before painting. And also, as a side note, as I was painting this, I couldn't help but feel like I was holding a cookie because it totally looks like one. After the base is dry, I'm going to go ahead and add some speckling with a watered down brown color, and I'm going to lightly tap that all over. And to define the details, I'm using a white paint with my favorite fine liner brush. Thank you. 
So we're gonna go ahead and put it all together by adding in our tassel on the bottom. And I'm also adding on some wooden beads on the top, which is another great natural DIY material to use for your projects and also adds in that extra boho touch. This was my first time trying out salt dough and I am quite impressed with the end result. This is such a great eco-friendly project using natural materials and also ingredients found in your kitchen. I'm totally in love with our cute little wall hanging and you can also use it to hang off of a doorknob or also on your rear view mirror to add a little bit of boho anywhere you'd like. Before moving on to the next project, I wanted to talk about today's sponsor, True Earth. They are an amazing eco-friendly brand and their biggest mission is to eliminate single-use plastics from the earth. That is definitely something that I can get behind and they have so many great products for your kitchen, your bathroom, and also your laundry room. Their most popular product are their laundry strips, which is really awesome because you get 32 loads just in this tiny little package. And that's really awesome because this package is biodegradable so you're not adding any more waste into landfills. So here's what the laundry strips look like and you basically just rip it in half just like this. So all you need is one little strip for each load and I also really love that you don't need to measure anything out and don't have to worry about the mess with a liquid detergent. So the one that I've been using is their fresh linen scent but they also have fragrance fee as well as a baby formula one so depending on your needs you can really choose from any one of these scents. And they're also hypoallergenic as well as vegan, so this is just a way better alternative to laundry detergent. And if you guys watch my closet makeover video, you'll know that I had to purge a lot of clothes, but I also had to wash a lot of clothes. So it definitely made me feel a lot better using these laundry strips because I was doing so many loads. And my clothes just smelled so fresh and were ready to be put in my closet for display. What's also great is that shipping is free and you can save more by choosing the subscription service which allows you to receive their products every one, two, or three months. So if you guys are interested and want to check out True Earth, make sure that you click on my link down below to get 10% off of your entire order. And I'll have my discount code as well as all the other details down below. For this next DIY, we're using a pasta sauce jar, which is definitely something that you can find in your kitchen. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cap and the label, and usually it'll leave some of that label behind as well as that sticky residue. So I'm gonna show you guys a trick to get it all off, but first I'm gonna soak it in some hot water for about 10 to 15 minutes. So after we take it out, there's still gonna be some of that sticky residue left over, so I'm gonna use more items from the kitchen to get it all off. I'm pouring a little bit of cooking oil into a bowl and then I'm just gonna rub that right onto the sticky area first to break it all down. Then I'm adding in some baking soda and this is really gonna help us scrub it all off. I don't know if this also bothers you guys, but stickers that don't come off cleanly are seriously the bane of my existence. And this little hack is seriously the best way that I found to clean your jars with natural ingredients. And I also like that it's pretty quick to do and it's super satisfying to get everything off of your jar. So I'm just wiping that all away and I'm gonna give it a final wash with soap and water in the sink. So now we have our squeaky clean jar and you can use this for anything that you guys would like, but for my DIY project, I'm gonna create a tea light candle holder. To cover the screw top lip on the jar, I went ahead and rolled out a coil of polymer clay and then I'm gonna wrap that around the lip and mold it to the mouth of the jar. And to blend it all together, I'm using rubbing alcohol on my fingertips, and this is just the best way to smooth out polymer clay and works like a charm. I wanted it to have a little bit of a handmade look, so I wasn't too concerned with this looking exactly perfect. The small grooves on it are really going to add to that, and once I was happy with it, I went ahead and just popped it into the oven for 15 minutes at 275 degrees. Once that's all cooled down, we can go ahead and work on the design, and I'm just going to first map that all out with a permanent marker. I'm using masking tape to help me create straight and even rows, and for my little triangles I created a small template to trace around it so that each one is about the same size. And these triangles are going to be the cutouts of our tea light lantern, so I want it to be semi-uniform. A great trick you could try is to print or draw the design on a piece of paper and then just place that on the inside and use that as a guide and I think that would work super perfectly here. So now it's time to paint, so I'm mixing up some baking soda paint with a 1 to 3 ratio of baking soda to paint, and I went with raw sienna for a nice earthy look. I started with the triangles first so that I can paint around them to create the cutouts, and again, I'm not too concerned if these don't look perfect because we really want that handmade look to shine through. 
and you want to give this two to three looks for even coverage. And when it comes to baking soda paint, this dries down pretty quickly, so to ensure that my paint doesn't dry before I get to use it for my second coat, I like to make sure that I have a lot of it mixed up so that I could seal it and come back to it later. Or you could do what I'm doing here, which is just to use one paint color, and that way you don't have to mix up a new color and it will stay consistent for both coats. For the finishing touch, I'm adding on some white lines for some interest, and for this part, I'm just going to use some regular acrylic paint without any baking soda in it. This project is totally inspired by a world market piece, and I just knew that we could do a DIY version with stuff that we already had at home. And I want to know in the comments below if you guys are also like me and save your jars for storage and DIY projects. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you guys probably already know that I love to reuse my jars and single-use plastics for my projects. And I sometimes feel like I'm hoarding too many quote-unquote trash items, but you truly never know when they can come in handy, and it's a great way to keep items from ending up in the landfill. Okay guys, I'm all done with this project and I'm just going to add in a little candle and it's ready to go. Our new lantern is perfect to add in style and ambient lighting to any home. I absolutely love the design on this lantern and you guys can totally try this project out and reuse any glassware that you already have at home to do this. And I feel like these projects totally show that sometimes the best DIY projects can come from a place like the kitchen. I hope you guys liked the products from today's video and that it gave you some inspo on how you can create some eco-friendly DIYs. If you guys have a favorite, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I think that my favorite definitely has to be the salt dough just because that was my first time creating it. I feel like that project idea is usually geared towards kids, but this is a totally trendy way that you can use it for a DIY for your home. So that definitely has to be my favorite. And again, a big thank you to True Earth for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to check them out for yourself and save 10%, make sure that you click on the link in my description box. They're seriously such an amazing brand with so many other products, so I hope that you guys like them as much as I do. And speaking of liking things, if you like this video, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for new videos every single week. And as always, don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you recreate any of the products from today's video. And that is it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!